Hey there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now I have a few videos coming up, two, maybe three videos about time. All different things about time, atomic clocks and all that kind of stuff. Now, before I get into those, I thought, well, we better make sure that everyone understands the difference between a second, a millisecond, a microsecond and a nanosecond. They're easy to say, but do we have an actual concept of what they mean? Because when we talk about time, if I say something is so many milliseconds, so many nanoseconds, what does that really mean? So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so we all know what a second is. Well, I, well, I hope we do, 60 seconds in a minute. Uh, as an interesting experiment, you should maybe uh, try one day to count off a minute in your head with your, with your eyes shut and kind of start a timer and see how long you think a minute is compared to uh, what it says on, on, on a clock or a, or a phone. It's actually quite interesting, but that's a, a different thing. Now, what we want to talk about today is units of time smaller than one second. And to do that, we're going to use the idea of how far light can travel, because we're all used to the idea that light goes very, very fast. In fact, light travels approximately, approximately 300,000 kilometers a second, which happens to be the distance between the Earth and the Moon, again, approximately. That means that it takes one second for the light to come from the Moon uh, to the Earth. And just think about how long it takes us when we want to go there uh, by rocket. Uh, it takes a lot longer than, than one second. Just shows you how fast light is. So that's one second of time. Now you can divide time into smaller categories. So you can actually divide it into milliseconds. So that's one thousandth of a second. Now programmers will be used to the idea of milliseconds because often inside program you can tell a program to sleep or to pause, delay for so many milliseconds. So you can say 500 milliseconds, that'd be half a second, a thousand milliseconds, that would be one second. Now, because it's one thousandth of a second, light can travel about 300 kilometers in a millisecond. So if you've ever written a program, you said sleep for one millisecond, you thought, wow, that's just way too short. That's just so short of a pause. And, and it is in programming terms. Just think in that one millisecond, uh, light could travel 300 kilometers. So that's quite a distance. Now, milliseconds can be broke down even further into microseconds. So one microsecond is a thousandth of a millisecond. So a millisecond is a thousandth of a second, and a microsecond is one thousandth of a millisecond. So just think about what a tiny, tiny bit of time that is. So if people are talking about, you know, accuracy, or they're talking about uh, precision, drift, jitter, all these kind of things around clocks and time, then a microsecond is a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of a second. In fact, light can travel 300 meters in a microsecond. Now, what I have here is a nanosecond. Okay, it, it's a piece of wire, in fact, but this is the distance that light can travel in a nanosecond, just that far. So, you're obviously, this is an amazingly short amount of time. But again, when we talk about clocks, and we talk about accuracy and precision and jitter and drift and so on, we can talk about nanoseconds. So a nanosecond is one thousandth of a microsecond. So a second divided into thousand parts is a millisecond. Take one of those, divide that into a thousand parts, a microsecond. You take a microsecond and you divide that into a thousand parts and now you've got nanoseconds. So that is not very, very amount, strong amount of time. That's how far light travels in a, in a nanosecond. Now here's a clip from uh, Rear Admiral Grace Hopper, who was the first person I saw that showed this idea of a nanosecond. It's a really, really interesting clip. To give you a nanosecond. Okay, now, like I see, it. I don't even know what that is, Grace. Well, you see, we started with milliseconds, thousands of a second, and then we went to microseconds, millionths of a second, and now we talk about nanoseconds. That's a billionth of a second. Mm -hmm. But Well, they told me billionth of a second, and I didn't know what on earth they were talking about. It right. didn't make sense to me. So one day I called over to engineering and said, cut off a nanosecond, send it over to me. <laughs> so I've got a bundle of them here. And you can pick your color. Oh, they come in color. See, I didn't realize that nanoseconds now. In the old days, you only had your I'm choice one. of white or gray, I think. <laughs> now, now, Gracie, I understand that this is a visual... That is the maximum distance that light or electricity can travel in a billionth of a second. Okay, so now hopefully, conceptually now, we kind of got a better idea, can wrap our heads around the idea of milliseconds and microseconds and nanoseconds. And when we talk about things in computing, when we talk about 
time, when we talk about clock frequencies, when we talk about delays, when we talk about how far electricity travels along a cable, of course that's different to light traveling through a vacuum, but even so, and we talk about nanoseconds and microseconds, hopefully now you kind of got an idea of what that means, how precise we're dealing with here in terms of the speed of light and, and distances and of course time. Now as I said, I've got two or three more videos coming, it depends how I plan them, about, uh, about time, about clocks, about atomic clocks, uh, how computers synchronize their time and so on. And I hope this video was useful in understanding some of these concepts. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, hope you're following me on Twitter at Gary Explains. Don't forget, I also have a newsletter. Go over to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address. No spam, just the newsletter. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.